Marcus made. A lot of times the Falcons, man, they just they just they're going to let you down. They're going to let you down. And I'm not a Falcon fan per se. I didn't grow up rooting for the Falcons, but I rooted for the home team ever since I've been in this city. Um, and you know, in the past, I, I would never even consider the Falcons really being a threat to anybody for a Super Bowl. This year is different. That's all. That's the best way I can put it. This year is different. And this defense, this defense is playing on another level. And that was the Achilles heel of the team at the start of the season. These young players, they start like three, three or four rookies. You know, the Campbell kid is a beast. Jones is a beast. Keanu Neal is a beast. They got, and these players have grown up in front of our eyes very quickly. And Dan Quinn bringing that whole culture of the Seattle Seahawks defense, the Legion of Boom with a physical safety, a physical fast defense like they had in um, uh, Seattle over the last couple of years, is coming to fruition in Atlanta very, very quickly. Vic Beasley, like they got players that you can you can tell if you project three, four years down the road when they get some more seasoning under their belt, the defense is going to be a strong suit. Now, they are young, and, and that could play a factor in what happens for the rest of the year because they are young. Same reasons why I talked about, uh, you know, Dallas, you know, probably wouldn't advance because of their young players on offense. Same thing. That could come into play. I'm not denying that. But they have uh, increasingly played better week after week after week after week. And if you project these players three, four years down the road, the Falcons are on pace, on course, to probably have one of the best defenses in the league. I mean, for God's sake, your second-year man led the league in sacks and Vic Beasley. So, I mean, sky's the limit for this team, man. I'm acknowledging it. I'm giving them credit. From RC, he says, I'm no Pats fan, but if they beat the Steelers, I'll be rooting for them versus Atlanta or Green Bay. Damn, you're going to root for the New England Patriots? Nobody roots for the New England Patriots unless you're from Boston. From one chance, Greg, I usually don't agree with you when you're trolling, but the Falcons should definitely play that on the Jumbotron while Aaron Rodgers is watching. Oh, man. I uh, This morning, we were looking at um, uh, or looking at these videos. And the Sierra video with my body, I don't know exactly what the what – the, the, poster is saying in the chat group what exactly they're referring to but if you go back and look at the sierra video <laughs> go back and look at the, the sierra video my body um or i think maybe it's called um body party or something like that go back and look at that video and in the video future is prominently featured basically setting up the fact that he about to hit them skins tonight If you really wanted to troll Russell Wilson, you could create some kind of fake, you know, email account and email Russell Wilson the link to that video. Like the way Sierra is looking at future in this video, man, is like she wanted to absolutely devour him. Oh my gosh! From Demetrius still swerving two thousand as a forever Falcons fan, Dougie, it really does feel different. I think this may be the start of a legacy. Go Falcons! Thanks to Coach Dan Quinn. Yeah. You remember Dan Quinn uh, up to get the job in Atlanta was Dan Quinn and Rex Ryan? (laughs) If I have time, and I'm probably not going to have time. There's so much so far in the past. I should go up and pull up the audio of the show that I did the day after it was announced that Rex Ryan was the top candidate to get the Atlanta job. And I and, and I should go back and look through my email of all of the people, and we can look in the chat of all of the people that said that they should get a job to Rex Ryan. Give the job to Rex Ryan. Who is Dan Quinn? You know, forget Dan Quinn. Give the job to Rex Stinking Ryan. Yeah. I'm a reminder. I'll remind you. Most of this city. 
If I had to do a poll, most of this city, and you're listening to the Doug Shore Show, most of this city wanted Rex Ryan to be the head coach of the Falcons. Not me. Not me. I'm a Rex Ryan hater, as a matter of fact. No. Why would you give a buffoon the head coaching job to your team? Why would you elect Donald Trump to be president of your country? It's the same damn thing of getting Rex Ryan to be the, the coach of your team. Oh, my gosh. People, oh, you're silly, Doug. Rex Ryan, this experience. Defense, this, that, and the other. Rex Ryan. My Rex Ryan is a buffoon. Rex Ryan. From Grego. Sunday's ref flagged the Steelers 12 times in the last game he officiated. From uh, Brian Hill. Thorny, we are winning all the time. Series catch up from Nostradamus Big L. He's talking about probably uh, the Saints and the Falcons rivalry. From uh, Nostradamus Big L, laugh out loud, Chuchi, show me more love, Burr. Bag on head. Is that the Saints? Laugh out loud. Yeah, you remember they used to wear bags over their heads down there in New Orleans. Uh, from Thorny Switch, and let's keep it real, you. From Sidney Jackson, it's obvious Aaron Rodgers doesn't give a crap about his family. All that would do is piss Rodgers off. I still don't know the story about Aaron Rodgers and the fallout between him and his family. From Milch Drama's Big L, Kesey, don't do a damn 15-minute show talking about I need to get a haircut before the game. What are they talking about? From Thorny Switch, that could be the case, Chuchi. Same of the Falcons, so what's your point? They're going back and forth about the Falcons and the, and the Saints for some reason. Ain't nobody talking about no damn Saints, Thorny. Come on with the damn Saints talk. From Tiffany Sports and Heels, the Falcons will win the game, but the NFL Electoral College uh, will select Green Bay to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, well, so, I mean, a lot of people think that the the, the optimal thing for the NFL is, would be to have uh, New England, because everybody loves Tom Brady, to have New England and Green Bay. You got the story, Green Bay Packers franchise, and, you know, everybody's hero, Captain America, Tom Brady himself. That's probably what the NFL would like. It doesn't always happen like that. I don't think there's anything rigged about this. You know, we've seen the Falcons made it to the Super Bowl. I just talked about it. The Falcons making it to the Super Bowl in 98. That's, that's, they're not one of the upper echelon brands in the NFL. They aren't. I mean, you know, hell, the Seattle Seahawks went to the Super Bowl. Uh, the New Orleans Saints went to the Super Bowl. So I don't think it's going to be uh, fixed or anything like that. I think the Falcons, they're going to handle their business. I think they... Uh, I'm not ready to make my prediction yet, though. I'm on a, uh, an incredible roll as far as prognosticating. And I'm not just going to say Atlanta, you know, minus four and a half just to say it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick the game. I'm hoping the Falcons win. For the record, let me say it right now. I am hoping that the Falcons win. I think that they can win. I think that they can win, but I'm not going to pick them mm, quite yet. Not yet. From Grego, can you all imagine if they can't get their new stadium closed and it starts to rain during the Falcons game, that stadium would have 356 fans in the stands. Uh, I don't know exactly what he's talking about. From that boy Chucky, chat room live as usual. Great show, Dougie, and I'm gone. Appreciate it, that boy Chucky. Appreciate you. <laughs> from Cornelia Small. From Cornelia Smalls, he says, uh, it's nice outside right now. It's a shame it has to go away. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that it's like 80% chance of rain uh, Sunday. They got the little lightning bolt picture with the with the rain clouds on uh, on the little avatar on the weather service. Uh, w w I mean, we had planned to have one of the biggest tailgates in two live students history. That's what we had planned. Uh, but, you know, black women definitely ain't coming out in no damn weather. So, y'all know that. So, it'll probably be the... the uh, you know, it'll probably be the uh, the cats that come out there every single week. Um, you know, the 5, 10, 15 people that normally come to the tailgate, no matter what happens, rain, sleet, or snow. I'm going to be out there. We are going to be out there. We're going to be out there. Yeah, we're going to be out there. 
from Grego, laugh a lot. What I'm talking about is that Falcons fans won't sit in inclement weather. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Especially black women. They're not going out there in that weather. <laughs> They're not going. You know, outside of for the predominantly black cities in this country, and I don't know how they get down in D.C., but I've uh, – so New Orleans, I would think, has a big population of black women that, that support the team and go and tailgate. You know, they probably have a big tailgate culture down there. But, man, the tailgate culture in Atlanta, man, for black women, I mean, it's thick, okay? No pun intended. Uh, it is thick as hell. But they are not coming out there when they have some weather. That ain't going to happen. They're not going to do it. <laughs> They're not going to do it. Shit. Come on, there, mess up my hand. No way. So we're definitely going to be affected by the weather, it looks like, based on the uh, on the, on the the forecast. But I'll tell you what, the fellas will be out there. The two live students, Faithful, will be out there. We will be out there, baby. We will be out there. Let's get out of here, baby. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise the nation. Yeah. Club. But, uh. Uh-huh. I think it's only right for me to raise a nation to brood. Yes, sir. Frank Cole. Hey. Earns just. Oscar Cooper. The fastest three hours of sports. Make sure you become a premium member. Go to the DougStewartShow.com and become a premium member today. Where you will hear episodes of the Doug Stewart Show. All three hours of the Doug Stewart Show. Every episode, Monday through Friday, at your leisure. As well as episodes of Chop It Up. We're about to drop a Chop It Up episode tonight. Um, so become a member. It's only $4 a month, man. But you get 60 hours of fun, 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 fun per month. Yeah. Hey, shouts out to everybody that helped make today's show possible. Waterhead, Walter. Um, Poe Politikin. Brandon Butler, shouts out to y'all. My man Pink Gator for this track right here. And my man Larry, the benefactor, kind of, sort of. And a special shout out, man, to all of the Stewies. Without you, there would be no me. Thank you very much. Yeah. I. So we'll be back tomorrow. Same Doug Stewart time, same Doug Stewart channel. All right, y'all be careful in the streets. Once again, pass the word. Tell one person about the show. I really, really would appreciate it. Tell one person. Make it your goal to tell one person about the Doug Stewart show. We really would appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Time Shark. Peace. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation to brood. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the Q, I know it make you wanna. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the Q, I know it make you wanna. I'm always in the Q. But you ain't know I'm resolute to the boot She don't give me though In that pack over there That my dog team Before I came out the room I had purple dreams Skip toe That my line name And ate a mule That my chain game From my yard To any yard I put that on my life The cues going hard A whole nation do your duty, do that. Lift it up. Lift this it ain't up. about yourself, no. Ain't about your kids, no. Jail as a unit, yeah. and we gon' run the ship. Uh. The greatest threat on the planet Earth. Planet but make no mistake, God, I put you first. See, I know my place, know my place. and I stand my ground. Cues in the sky, 
We gon' hold it down. Frank Cole, Ernest Chess, Oscar Cooper.